for signs of Aries. This is Kim. I'm going to do a special reading for you today on regarding the rest of 2021. I'm going to be drawing one card for each month uh, from the Zen tarot deck and then at the very end some uh, oracle cards from the wisdom of the oracle. So let's get started calling in Aries angels spirit guides higher self higher power let's get messages for them that's for their higher good thank you for liking sharing subscribing definitely hit like that helps and um if you want a private reading i do those for donations check out the description box below on how to get that but let's begin so aries what's up for april what's up for april aries all right so the card says fighting on it. This is the Knight of Swords energy. You're having to go through change when you see this, the Knight of Swords. It may be something that came and took you off guard, too. So it might be something like that. Let me make sure you can actually see this. There we go. All right, so let's get um, a card for me. Well, here we go. I feel like that's May. This one's June. So May is about getting your emotions together, going through a healing, either emotionally or physically. I feel like for June, you may be getting information regarding past lives. You might be integrating knowledge from all of your lives, maybe having even glimpses or visions of them. Um, and you'll also be integrating good and what you consider positive and negative. That is part of the balance that's achieved with the King of Cups. Might be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces too. So, all right, next card is going to be for July. The Miser. So July has you scrimping, saving. Also, this could be a reminder that you can't take material possessions with you when you go. And hoarding or holding on to lots and lots of stuff is beyond materialistic. It goes to like an ego-based fear of lack or not having it enough, like never having enough. All right, so the next card is going to be for August. For Aries, August for Aries. Ooh, good. Breakthrough. Really transforming something around. This card is about breakdown to breakthrough. Whatever got you down in the beginning of the year is going to be totally transformed by the time you get to August. That's exciting. Mark it on your calendar. Breakthrough. Having an epiphany. Aha. Moment. All right. What is September going to be about for Aries? Past lives. I think maybe you'll start getting glimpses right here in uh, July, like I said. Um, no, wait, this is June. Sorry, in June. And um, the past lives now is coming up for September. You may be interacting with characters from past lives or really starting to remember. I feel like you're really, really going to get something from your past lives. And in part of that, you may receive downloads here and there from what happened in past lives. Or you may just have emotions that come out that are unlike ones you felt before. And it's because it might be an inner knowing of a past life. So that's exciting. All right. What is up for October? Whoa. <laughs> Consciousness. Going inside, being with oneself, the Ace of Swords, truth, ultimate clarity, only knowledge that you can find, you find. What's for November for Aries? <laughs> That's nice. Okay, after you find this truth, Ace of Swords, you get the Ace of Cups. 
which in this deck means going with the flow, being like water. I think you're going to create something too in November, but you're also going to go with the flow. That means you're going to flow like water around obstacles in life. This is going to be a very good year for you. Starting around, um, I think around August, you know, you just end up having so many breakthroughs um, that you're really gonna have something great by the time you get to October and November. What is November for Aries, please? Wow, came out quick. Oh, sorry, this is December. So that's November, right? Yeah, that's November. This is December. Being all in the mind, okay? And and this could be about news or things coming out that might boggle your mind or surprise you. It may be from very different sources. This could be involving um a delay of some sort, but I think it's I think it's really really mental. I think unless it's talking about a child, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, Aries, this is talking about gathering more information for yourself. Gathering more information. So there's like it's like you go through a lot and you transform, and then in comes something else, some other news. Is what I'm feeling is like it's news. That's what I'm feeling. News, news for you. Let's do your oracle cards and wrap up your reading, Aries. Looks good. Looks like a really good year. Good. I fear this year's got to be better than last year. For everybody. Wow. Getting what you want and more with the bless card. Sorry about that, little cards. Oh wow, so this is about receiving. I feel like the second half of the year is gonna be about receiving, being poised, poised uh, for things to come, being in receptive mode, putting in the work. So look, you're waiting on the results the second half of the year. And they do, they just come to you. Cause you are blessed. Because you are blessed. Let me see if I can put that there. Yeah, I can. So, yeah, you are blessed. You are blessed. That's about getting something that um, you really don't need or not just not need. It's about something that you didn't have to work for. Except for in this in this day, like I feel like it, it maybe it is something you work for. Usually means that. So something coming in big, especially the second half of the year. And finding like a soul tribe or a soul group will be of importance for you. As well as prosperity and abundance with the eight number. So finding people that you just really mesh well with. I feel like there needs to be one more because you are Aries after all. There we go. Oh my gosh. See, these mean the same thing. Yin is the feminine energy, divine feminine, of being like the high priestess and just waiting for things to come to you. So it's all about being receptive. Being re open and receptive to getting things that you want. All right. Thank you, Aries. I hope you all like this. So sending you love and light. Bye-bye.